Hey everyone, a Frugal Tech Channel here and in this first video I will have a quick look of my future system that I will assemble in a day or two. Uh, well, the SSD is still missing but I will pick it up uh, tomorrow, at least I hope so. Let's have a look at the components that I bought. First of all I have spent about 200 euros on Amazon.it and I decided to stay pretty cheap because uh, in the future I will probably upgrade something. Let's have a quick look at the processor. It's a Pentium G4400 LGA1151, so it's a Skylake processor and uh, it's the cheapest uh, Skylake that's currently on the market. It's a dual core, dual thread, uh, 3.3 GHz processor with uh, Intel HD 510 graphics chip, so it's the cheapest and the slowest of all the Skylake processors. And uh, it has, of course, its uh, stock heat sink. I'm gonna be using uh, the stock heat sink for some days and maybe I will change it later. Also, we can find a 8 GB uh, stick of DDR4 sodium RAM, it's a crucial. 233 MHz stick and uh, well I have um, decided to use a single channel stick so later I can upgrade to a 16 gig configuration and uh, the most uh, interesting part this motherboard the H110T by ASUS it's a 390X motherboard, so it's still compatible with uh, all the other cases, but it's also designed to uh, go into a 390X case, which is thinner, as you should expect in a 390X configuration. Let's have a quick look at it. Let's unbox the board. So, um, some tape in here. Let's be careful to avoid breaking something. Let me put the camera here. Okay. Oh, that's, that's quite a puzzle here, I have to say. Alright, alright. And uh, here is our board! Yay! Let's unwrap it from... Oh yeah, it's a bag. Wait a second. Alright, and there you go! This board is the ASUS H110T, yay! So it supports a Skylake processor as we can see here and it uses a sodium memory because every FinITX uses sodium memory and um, another cool thing about this board uh, is that it has got a DC power connector so you don't need an ATX PSU and also 2 gigabit LAN, so uh, it's going to be quite useful. We have HDMI and DisplayPort for video options, so only digital video output, but that's great because uh, I, I, don't, uh, I don't use VGA anymore and DVI is uh, you know, starting to become a thing of the past. I prefer to have uh, HDMI and DisplayPort so I can use a board uh, with a TV and a computer. It has uh, also got two M.2 slots, one is for Wi-Fi here, and the other is for storage. And it also supports uh, SATA 3.0. It has got only two ports, but with this uh, strange looking power connector, so you can uh, power both of them. And what else to say? Well, uh, you can see, as you can see, the battery for the BIOS is pretty visible. Uh, here's the chipset under the heat sink, uh, the processor socket, and uh, many other very interesting stuff such as USB headers, uh, uh, CPU fan connectors. It supports four-pin fans, by the way. 
one here for the CPU and uh, the other one here for the chassis and uh, I think this should be it. Yeah, not uh, not much else. Not much else. Not much else to say. We also find uh, these SATA cables, SATA power cables, and these uh, very precious screws that you will have to use to secure your M.2 uh, peripherals to the board. And what else can we find in the box? Let's see. Oh, sorry about that. Well, um, this is a pretty useful thing. We have uh, two grills, actually. The first is for a Fin ITX case, and as you can see, is uh, um, shorter. The other one is taller and is for a normal Mini ITX and other cases, such as Micro ITX, Standard ITX and so on. So, uh, this motherboard is, can still be used with uh, many other configurations. That's pretty good, actually. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> nice meme. Uh, anyway, we can also find um, a DVD support uh, with um, drivers and support and uh, an ASUS sticker which is hidden uh, here. The user guide which uh, can be helpful. And uh, some other stuff uh, which could still be useful but whatever. So, um, here we are at the end of the video. I will uh, install this system into this case, which is an Antec ISK uh, 110. So, um, yeah, that's about it. This system will replace the AM1 uh, system that I'm currently using, and uh, not much else to say. Maybe in the next video I will uh, install it and uh, make a quick uh, video about it. Until then, this is a Frugal Tech Channel and uh, this has been my first video. Hope you leave a like and subscribe and uh, whatever, all this stuff that uh, you do when you visit a cool channel. Take care, bye bye!